Good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? So today, I am going to apologize right now. My voice is a bit shot. I'm currently sick in the middle of snow again, so that makes a good combo, being sick and snow. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Mistreated by Deep Purple, the proper way. Uh, I did this video about a year ago, and it's one of my worst videos, and the dislike and like ratio really show that. And that's because I taught her how to play it my way, which was... Which was wrong! And the whole video was wrong, so... Here's a do-over a year later, me smarter, and also with Tab Pro. So I can really teach it the proper way. So, let's dive right in, here we go. Okay, so let's start with the intro. And this is basically going to show you the whole foundation of building blocks for the rest of the song, which is why I like it. So, 2nd fret of your G string. 4th fret of your D string. And add a nice little vibrato on the 4th fret of the D string just to make it sing more. After that, you want to go down to your low E string, palm mute the 2nd fret. Go up to your D string, and 2nd fret. Then the fourth fret. Repeat that twice. So your whole first phrase is. Then you might go to your G string, fourth fret, bend all the way up to the sixth fret. Release, hit the fourth, fourth fret again. Repeat the phrase. And instead of doing a Bend on the 4th fret, go down to the 2nd fret, use two fingers, that way the bend is stronger, and slowly bend up to that 4th fret. So the whole first part of the uh, intro sounds like this. And that is basically the whole foundation for the rest of the song. Congratulations, you've learned most of it. Now, uh, second part of the intro. The phrase. And this time instead of doing a bend, you want to do this little lick that Richie Blackmore does. Which is basically, I'm coming in really close for this one. Fourth fret of your D string. 2nd fret of your G, 4th fret of your G, bending, 2nd fret of your G, bending up, into the phrase. So that whole thing should sound like this. So, and then the next part of the intro, you know, you do the phrase. Then you want to bend on your 4th fret up. Release. And what I do there is just after I bend up, release, hit the 4th fret, bend up again. And just keep striking it like twice on top. And more as you come down. So the whole intro should sound like this. And that is basically the intro and the foundation for the rest of the song, so you've learned about 50% of it. Now the verse of the song. And this part is super easy, because 
you have your phrase. First time you want to bend on your G string fourth fret. Do that again. Then repeat the phrase. And the second time, just go to your second fret, your G string. Just then strike the fourth fret. And now you can. Or slide. Or hammer on if you want to. Just don't bend. Because odds are it will be wrong. So. And that is basically the whole verse. You just want to repeat that twice. So the whole thing sounds like this. Like I said, that was the whole verse. Congratulations. 60% of the song. Alright, so now it's the chorus, and this is where Richie noodles all over the fretboard here. And it starts off on the G string. Guess which fret, guys? That's right, the fourth fret! And it starts with a bend, release, bend, strike the fourth fret again, bend up. Go to that second fret of the G, back to the fourth fret. Now, if you're feeling risky and you have enough sustain, you don't really need to hit that fourth fret again. Personally, I think it sounds better if you hit it again. So after that, we're going to go all the way up to the 11th fret of the D string. So, 11th fret. 9th of the G. 11th of the G. Hit that 11th fret again. Go up to the 10th of the B, back down to the 11th, I hit the 11th again, 10th of the B, 12th fret, bend up, again, again, 10th fret B, 11th of the G, so... bit slower and then you're gonna go all the way back down to your second fret of the G string hammer on to the fourth fret fifth fret of the B then fourth fret of the G bends Second fret, back to the fourth fret. So the whole entire chorus so far goes. Hey, I've been losing my mind. And then we go into the first little solo break. Also, alright, so what's nice about this chorus solo is that it's all down here, and nothing way up here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with like the first part of our phrase. Second on your G. Fourth on your D. Hit that again. Go back up to your G string. Fourth fret, bend up. Do it again. Do it again, release. Second fret on your G. That's how it should sound so far. Then you're going to do this run, starting on your fourth fret of the D. Second of the G. Fourth of the G. Second of the B. Second on the high E, back to the second on the B, fifth on the B, then bends.
As you can see, going to the a second of the B and second of the high E and back down, I'm doing a straight roll. So that way's up. And yeah, then after the bends, second on the high E, second on the B, fifth of the B, fourth of the B, seconds on the B, back to the second on the high E, back to the fifth on the B, then you would go to the fourth of the G, second of the G, fourth of the D, back to the fourth of the G, second of the G, back to that fourth fret of the G, and guess what? Back to the bends! Again, release seconds of the G, fourth of the D, bend the fourth fret of the G string again, and hold it. Back to the verse. So, that run I just taught you, starting from the... Slowly, it's... So, the whole entire thing, slowly, first. Up to speed. And then we get right into the verse again. And this... Oh, I just closed it out. Sorry. Anyway, go on to the second verse. It is... Exactly like the first. So boom, you have most of the song learned already, and then we're get, now we're gonna go into the second chorus solo. Okay, so the first part of this next chorus solo, once again, it all starts off down here. 2nd fret of the G string, 5th of the B, bends, 4th of the G, bends, 2nd fret of the G, back to that 4th fret. And then we go right into the very high part, which it's going to sound wrong, but it's right. So what that all basically is, let me come up here, is the 13th fret of the D, 11th fret of the G, 10th of the B, a 12th fret of the B, bends, release, hit, bends, 10th fret of the B, 11th of the G, hit it again, hammer on from the 9th fret of the G onto the 11th, 10th of the B, bend the 12th fret of the B, then use your pinky finger to strike the 12th fret of the high E. And so we're gonna do bends, strike 12, bends, 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 strike, bend, bends, pull down, 10th of the B, back to the 12. So the whole phrase up here, again slowly, is.
And then we get into the next solo portion of the song. So this next part of the chorus solo kind of goes everywhere. So I'm going to go real slow and show you phrase by phrase. So, G string, fourth fret bend. Again, second on your G, fourth on your D string. Slide to a six on your D. Seven, nine, eleven. Then go to your G string nine. And then here's what it sounds like so far. Then a G string 11 fret bend up. Like bend other bends. Another bend. Regular. Then hammer on 9th of your G to your 11. Go up to your B string, 10 pull off to 9. 12th pull off to 10th. 9 on your high E. 12th on your B. 10th on your high E, pull off to 9. 12th pull off to 10. There we go. And then 9 hammer on to 10. 12th fret, bends. Bends, bends, nine, go to your B string, twelfth bend, normal, bends. So starting from the hammer on section down here, it sounds like So I'm gonna play this full way through twice, now we hear what it sounds like slow and then normal. So Now normal. And that takes you right into the first actual solo. Well, there you go. That was how to play Mistreated by Deep Purple the proper way this time. I'm not going to go in-depth on the solos today because the iPad's going dead, my phone's going dead, and my voice is getting shot. But if you want me to go in-depth on the solos when I'm healthy, just comment down below that you want that. And if you don't want it, I recommend you do for full shreddage, you just mess around in the F-sharp minor scale. <laughs> Like I said, for Ultimate Shredders, that's the best skill to use. And, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you do want those solo lessons down below. And, yeah, basically, that's it. I hope you have a good day, and I can't wait to see you later, guys. <laughs>